Two months ago, an endangered black panther was hit by a car while trying to cross the Malaysian East Coast Highway. The vehicle was damaged and the driver was traumatized. Sadly, the panther died after dragging itself 35 meters from the collision site. The Ministry of Environment reported five highways in Peninsula Malaysia as roadkill hotspots, and there are 61 roads and highways in the country that have reported roadkills. Just imagine. In the first nine months of 2017, there were 212 reported wildlife roadkills. Threatened iconic species like Malayan tapir and elephant are the most affected. Also, arboreal animals, such as monkeys who live in the treetops, are threatened by roads. Dusky langurs are leaf-eating monkeys in Peninsula Malaysia that frequently cross the roads by using cable wire or run to the other side of fragmented habitat to seek for food and shelter. This can cause road kills, human primate conflicts, and facilitate illegal primate pet trades. I'm a monkey researcher and I study the dusky langurs in Penang. Dusky langurs are gardeners of the forest. They feed on flowers and fruits and so help to disperse important forest tree seeds such as wild rambutan and patai. Without this keystone species in Penang forest, the natural balance of the forest will be disturbed and we will have less different types of trees around. Disturbed forests will cause soil erosion, landslides and even downstream flooding into our backyard. Through my research, I hope to shed some light on the animals in the treetop. Me and my team follow pinning langurs every day in their natural habitat to learn about their life, what they do, what they eat, and where they go. So, where do they go? After years of stalking them, we find them crossing roads in Penang human-modified environment. And sadly, not everybody always make it to the other side. We have now identified road crossing hotspots, and here we want to help them to cross the road safely. So, how do we do this? Canopy bridges serve not only as a mechanism to help the animals to cross the road while minimize the risk of road accident, but also to reconnect fragmented habitat to ensure healthy wildlife population. For us, this creates exciting new opportunities for research to further look into the lives of urban wildlife, and hopefully one day, these bridges will be included as part of Malaysian environmental policy. This will then showcase Malaysia as a country with green and sustainable development. It is never too late to bridge the gap. Roads are meant to be connection, not means of separation. If the wildlife can share their trails with us in the forest, let us also share our roads with them by making them wildlife friendly.